This genius mathematician came up with a fantastic conjecture. He was convinced that there is an integer bleem between 3 and 4. If the existence of this number is proved, then one will be able to gain the ability to travel through time and space. As a person who has won the Fields Medal, the highest honor in mathematics, such a statement inevitably makes people feel crazy and absurd. He completely subverted people's perceptions, and everyone thought he was crazy. The once mathematical genius is thus locked up in a psychiatric hospital. The hero is a psychiatrist who is tasked with treating the mathematician's delusions. Instead of treating him, he's trying to figure out how to persuade him to give up the bling conjecture and accept that he's crazy. He takes out a can of sugar snap peas and pours them on the table, saying that if bling is an integer, then represent it as a sugar snap pea. However, however, it was clear that such a deep mathematical puzzle could not be solved by a few small sugar snap peas. The mathematician filled with the third and fourth sugar peas, but was never able to get his hands on them. In the end, he chose to give up. The doctor's expression revealed an attitude of insight. It seemed that bling didn't exist, and even if it did, it couldn't be a whole number. Looking at the sugar beans scattered on the table, the doctor recalled a past event. He was just a child at that time, and on the way his father sent him to school, there was a car accident. The old man who was hit unfortunately died on the spot, and a pile of sugar beans were scattered on the floor. Just then, the mathematician suddenly cried out. Sensing an obstacle preventing him from pursuing the truth, he asked the doctor for a paper and pen to prove bling. The doctor did not heed his request, and instead informed the nurse practitioner to take him away. Inadvertently, the mathematician finds a drop marker on the floor, which he surreptitiously picks up and grabs a handful of jelly beans on his way out. He is then admitted to Ward 304 by an escort. When the doctor was off duty, strange things happened. The elevator stayed between the third and fourth floors, significantly longer than the other floors. This made him feel very uneasy and hurriedly left the elevator. On the way home, he kept thinking back to what the mathematician had said. There are dimensions other than what people perceive. There were at least seven that were currently out of human reach, and the integer bling between three and four could change everything, ascending from three to four dimensions. At this point, an ant circles around the wormhole in the book, as ants can only perceive flat space and not three-dimensional space. After a night of research, the doctor still has no clue. He went to a bar to drown his sorrows, but before he had a few drinks, the peanut on the table cracked by itself. He turned around to find the mathematician writing formulas on the glass at a rapid pace. The doctor followed and chased him down an alley. The mathematician suddenly disappeared, and even more surprisingly, he saw his childhood self on TV. The TV news reported the car accident of the year. The police spent three days investigating the identity of the deceased, but could not find any information related to the mathematician, as if he did not exist. Suddenly, the phone rings, and it turns out that it was just a dream. The doctor had fallen asleep while studying the numbers, and the call was from the hospital nurse, urgently asking him to rush to the hospital. When the doctor rushed to the hospital, he was told that room 304, where the mathematician was kept, had never been opened, and as a result, the mathematician had strangely disappeared. The doctor pushed open the door of room 304, the scene in front of him completely shocked. The wall is filled with dense mathematical algorithmic formulas. The doctor also picked up the drop marker cap on the floor. He recalled part of his lost memories, and there was a marker pen without a cap at the scene of the crash, in addition to the scattered sugar snap peas. At this point, the caregiver took one of the three sugar snap peas from the table, and the doctor rushed to stop it, but it was too late. His eyes returned to the table, and he realized that there were still three sugar snap peas sitting on the table. That's when he remembers that the old man looks like the very same mathematician who disappeared. At this point in the story, all the clues are clear. The mathematician completes the proof before the doctor arrives at the hospital and performs a random traverse. He was hit and killed by the car. The doctor wrote in as a child. Since the mathematician was from the future and had no identity from that era, the police investigated for three days and the identity of the dead man remained a mystery. The doctor grows up and takes on the case of the mathematician who suffers from delusions of grandeur, going from disbelief to semi-belief. Seeing the mathematician and his childhood self through dreams, he recalls the past and believes in the existence of integer bling. If there really were other latitudes, would humans be like ants circling in place around something imperceptible? That's all for today's story.